Don't panic. Don't panic. RimWorld, RimWorld is still coming out regular time. The Game of Thrones mod is just switched over to where Series B would be so I could put up this video and say, hello, um, I'm interested in what people want to see for Series B. Because the last two series, I think, for Series B, I have pick myself you know i haven't really looked into what too much you guys want to do i think they've ended up pretty good but i want to take it back to the community you know back like we used to do so i'm going to put it in your hands for a little bit and i've created two different polls one based on the mod pack that we're going to play and one based on what the actual goals for that are going to be religion culture etc so both of those will be pinned as the top comment in the comment section ideally you probably want to fill out this one first the one we're looking at on the on the on the screen the uh the, the the series b mod one and then we'll move on to the original one but should be fairly straightforward so i'll just talk about some of the specifics here before we uh or if you want to go vote go vote i'm just going to be talking about it in this video just very briefly to give you an overview of it so this one is going to be the one which the mod pack is based on so i've picked uh, a couple of mods here you got to remember this is series b i've also written this in the in the disclaimer here series b is the non-fantasy more traditional ck2 of the two series for those of you who don't really like the fantasy mods for those of you who just enjoy ck2 for what ck2 is so these are more or less based on europe and the other places in in you know asia and africa that you do get in ck2 so what i've picked is a sort of collection of those types of mods some of them are alternative history. Some put the put the actual start date back, but I feel like they all fit the CK2 sort of. Uh, uh, the, the, sorry, the series B modus operandi. So we've got when the world stopped making sense. This was the series we played as Julius Nepos in. This is the one that adds uh, a lot of extra sort of old mechanics. It's basically like antiqu antiquity migration period. This is a really fun mod. But I would recommend this if you've not played it, but it's it's sort of up to date. I think it's still in beta on GitHub. I'll be testing that one out. But that's that's definitely one of my top choices. Anyway, we've got obviously HIP, the mod pack we played, Brother Lava Get In. That one adds uh, specifically, it's, it's more or less a mod pack basically. New portraits, new interface, new map, lots of new historical based events. Winter King I've never played. It's based on a series of novels, but apparently that isn't necessary. It's mainly just a new map focusing on only Northwestern Europe. So Britain, France, Scandinavia, Netherlands, that sort of area, all around the North Sea. So if you're interested in that type of thing, that, that's a mod I've never played before. So that one we would really be going in blind to. Could be the most interesting album because I really have no idea what that one's about. Lux Invicta. We did try playing this before, but it changed so many systems that I just wasn't prepared for. I just had no idea really what we were doing most of the time. So if we do end up, if, if you guys are interested in Lux Invicta, I'll, I'll go and watch some other series. I don't like watching other people play CK2 because I play enough. But I will go and watch some other series. I'll go and read about the modern and learn how these new systems work before we dive into that. It's very complicated, and it is, like I said, on the sort of description here, overalls basically everything. Uh, building types, religion types, government types, whatever. It's alternative history as well, not based on anything, I believe, besides what the mod makers thought would be interesting. So it could be very, very confusing for people not familiar with the mod. Then we've got CK2+. Plus. Honestly, CK2 Plus is a little bit redundant these days. They used to play quite a lot because of its uh, coronation systems, things like that, all of which they've now incorporated into the base game. So it's a little it's a little pointless, but it does still have the Ancient Religions mod. This is the one we played as the Pharaoh Pondodly in and, uh, and did that whole Pharaoh scenario in Egypt. Gives a load of old sort of decisions that wouldn't be in base game CK2. This is what, if you wanted to play Hellenic, CK2 Plus was absolutely perfect for that before they it into the base game. And then I've also written Other. If you want to see another thing not listed on this, Give that a tick, leave me a comment, and then I can get an idea for, you know, if there are many upvoted comments on the YouTube word, dual cursor. If there are, if there are many things on uh, the YouTube comment section, obviously all being the same, then I might want to take them into consideration. Second poll, we have religions, goals, regions, whatever else. So there, I've, I've specifically put generally religions that we haven't played before. I did want to add more to this, but I accidentally hit the enter button and made the poll live. So there you go. That's what you've got. We've got, obviously, Islam. We never played as a caliphate. So we never played as any of, of really the Islam religion. Only two players, Egypt, very briefly, before we flip back to... Um, flip back to whatever the Egyptian Kemetic. There we are. The, the Egyptian paganism religion was called. I would say maybe we could play as one of the smaller branches build up. Maybe we could play as a... I don't know, maybe we could join the Assassins, for example. That's something I've never done, and then introduce the society through, uh, the, the religion through that society. Judaism, of course, we've never really touched on either, so restoring the Third Temple, rebuilding Israel, that type of thing. Kind of probably the hardest start in terms of religion, because there aren't many strong Jewish rulers early on. That also ties into a later one. Zoroastrianism, Zoroastrianism, that or say Zonism, something like that. One of the, uh, the, the less touched upon religions i would say at least in at least in our channel might be interested in players but i'm not really sure about those personally i think they're a little bit shallow end game it's basically just building up another religion kind of restoring it to some extent <coughs> fuck me i'm losing my voice already germanic paganism 
So we've never actually done any run as Dramatic Paganism slash Norse or anything like that. One thing I thought we could do is if we did end up playing one of the earlier bookmark mods, say in the Winter King or when the world stopped making sense, unite the Dramatic Rounds like we did with, with Mountain in Ireland as when we united all of the Celtic Rounds. We could do the same thing, but with Dramatic Paganism. That could be kind of fun because that's also got the cultural element to it as well. Thought Nomads, everybody, is, uh, there's sort of a meme about how I never play Nomads because Nomads are shit. And they're massively overpowered, like way too easy to abuse. So I thought we could potentially turn this into Judaism, play Kazar, set a time limit to settle. Because the issue with Nomads is they are super, super OP when it comes to, you know, burning everything, getting infinite troops, you settle, then suddenly you're a massively powerful feudal ram and no one can stop you, right? Thought we'd set a time limit, maybe like five episodes or so to settle. So do as much warfare early on, carve out a realm, settle, and then see if we can restore Israel via that method. Or we could just play as a different Nomad. Again, just hit this box if you're interested in Nomad, I guess. Other pagan religions, so we've got... I mean, anything we haven't really touched on before, like all the weird, wacky ones as well. So I've written like Slavic religion, Russia, really not that wacky, but Aztec Rome. We could go for, I don't know, Chinese, Taoism, uh, caliphates. Not that that would work, but that's just an idea, you know? And then I was going to say Catholicism and its heresies, but it's wrong, don't don't question it. Um, and, and add some other stuff, but then I accidentally hit enter on the poll, so... Uh, I don't think people will be too interested in that one, bearing in mind we've done a lot of Catholicism over the course of the channel, so... Really, down to you guys here. So I'd recommend ticking, say, for example, if you were interested in that Germanic run, when the world stopped making sense, and then go for the uh, Germanic paganism, for example. That would be a good combo. Or, say, Islam with historical immersion projects. And all of these are multiple choice, by the way. At least I think they... Shit. Well, this one's not. This one is, though. So if you're interested in just these mods, let me know. But these are very much one goal. Obviously, we can't have these going on simultaneously. So you let me know. And that will generally be coming out in a couple of days. I'm going to take a little bit of time off. And by time off, I mean only two videos a day for a while. Because I've got some other stuff to sort out in regards to the channel. Like, haha, <laughs> taxes. Um, and along with that, we've got some plans for the second channel content as well. So I kind of want to explore that for a while. It will only be gone for like a few days at most. So just bear that in mind as well. There we go. Hope you guys enjoy this. Apologies if this was a bit of a ramble or not very confusing at all. Or too confusing. Um... I haven't had a drink yet, so I'm, like, de completely dehydrated, so bear with me. And then we'll go and play some RimWorld. Hooray! RimWorld coming out, uh, if, if you're still watching this, in about an hour and a half, um, two hours and a half, something like that. Stay tuned.